The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Sandra Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Dr. Scott Whiteley, and Scott is the Executive Director of the Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, otherwise known as CADA. Welcome, Scott. Thanks Thank for you. being here with Thank us. Thank you, Sandra. I'm delighted to be here. Oh, right. Thanks for having me. Yes. And so um, I know CADA has been making such a big difference in the lives of so many people in Santa Barbara for so long. You have a lot of programs, and it's just big impact. And so I'm hoping that you'll tell us about some of those programs. And uh, where would you like to start? Well, I'm, I'm happy to. And first, I have to tell you I'm the fairly newly minted oh, executive yes. director. I started in July. Um, so I'm uh, still on a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm moving up pretty quickly. This is not my first rodeo with nonprofits. Mm -hmm. I've been associated with uh, several other nonprofits uh, in, in my professional career, as well as uh, running uh, children's mental health clinics. Mm. And even prior to that, I uh, taught at the university level for Gosh. 10 or 12 years. So I think I'm bringing uh, some good skills and some good skill sets uh, yeah. to this position. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's very clear. I'm so glad that you decided to accept that offer because I think that you'll be a great addition. Well, I, uh, I hope so. And, you know, I have a lot uh, to live up to. You uh, know my predecessors have made uh, a very significant uh, contribution to this community. And so I hope to, uh, to do the same during my, during my tenure. CADA is so important, has been so important to this community. And uh, under, under my watch, I hope it'll continue to be. I have no doubt that it will. Mm -hmm. And how many years has that been now? Over 70. Over 70 years. Yeah. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Touching the lives of so, so many people right here in Santa Barbara. And continuing to do so, I hope. You know, our, our uh, major focus, our mission has been during those whole 70 years, has been to address uh, issues of substance abuse and alcohol abuse, mm -hmm. prevent them if we can, mm -hmm. uh, and treat them. Uh, if if necessary, and so our programs try to do uh, to do both. And so your programs fall under three or four different categories. Is that right? Uh, they do. Uh, we have twenty three programs total, 20. which is so I won't describe three. all twenty three. But generally, uh, they fall under treatment, and we have both uh, child uh, child and adolescent treatment mm -hmm, programs. Mm -hmm. The Daniel Bryant Center being mm -hmm. kind of the crown jewel of yes. the child and adolescent program. Uh -huh. I think it's made uh, a very significant impact on the youth of this community. Yes. During uh, its existence, we've treated over 7,000 youth. Gosh, 7,000. 7,000. And uh, then we have adult treatment programs. Uh, we have an outpatient uh, treatment uh, program, Project Recovery, mm -hmm. which is all outpatient. Um, and then we have a residential treatment program. Mm. We call it ARTS, uh, Adult Residential Treatment Services. Okay. And it's a 12-bed facility uh, in a, uh, a house that you would think is just a, a residential uh, yeah. house. And it's 24-7. Uh, people can stay there uh, anywhere from 30 to, to 90 days. I, I bet you not many people know about that. Well, I'm hoping to get the word out. <laughs> yeah. So back to the Daniel Bryant yes. uh, Youth and Family Center. So you do a lot of fundraising around that, special hikes and all. Yes. Uh, 
we do the fundraising primarily so that anybody that walks in the door can receive services regardless of their ability uh, to pay. And the, uh, the fundraising activities are for the Daniel Bryant Center. Uh, CADA, of course, does others generally mm -hmm. for our other programs, but specifically for the Daniel Bryant Center. Every dollar that's raised uh, through our hikes, which mm -hmm. are our primary fundraising for that, go uh, to support uh, the, the center and to provide scholarships and funding for mm -hmm. uh, people going, youth going through the, the program. So we do an uh, international hike, mm -hmm. um, and everybody that goes on that hike uh, pays their own way, mm -hmm. all of their expenses, and then uh, is expected to raise a minimum amount. Mm -hmm. Most people raise far more mm -hmm. than the, the minimum. And every, like I said, every dollar of that goes uh, to the Daniel Bryan Center. And I can't, I have to, I have to give a, a shout out uh, to Bob and Patty Bryant. Oh gosh, yes. Who have really uh, shepherded that program. Obviously the Bryant Center is, uh, Daniel Bryant Center is close uh, to Bob's heart. Yeah. Uh, he lost his son to substance abuse mm -hmm. and he's become a tireless and a passion, passionate advocate yeah. for uh, treatment. Yeah, and and then you also have a local hike, right? There's a local hike, uh, and that uh, same kind of rules. People pay a, an entrance fee and anything else that they want, or if they can get a sponsor, and all mm -hmm. of that money again goes to the Daniel Bryant Center, uh, and we call both Summit for Dannys. Okay. Um, the uh, the hike, uh, the local hike, has three different levels, mm -hmm. and I have to confess that uh, I'm a hiker, but uh, I, I I take the easy <laughs> That's hike. That's okay. Yeah. Well, for now, it's okay. Yeah. So a person could go on your website, for example, and find out when the hikes are, how to get involved, Ab all absolutely. That. Yep. As well as about our other programs. Yeah. And I have to tell you about one other program that sort of doesn't fit into to that uh, tripod uh -huh. of, of programs, the uh, child and adolescent, the adult treatment, and the prevention and mm -hmm. early education uh, mm -hmm. services uh, uh, programs. And that's our SAVE program, mm. which is uh, an, uh, an employee assistance program. Yeah. And that, uh, I actually wasn't aware of that program before I came to CADA, and it's an absolutely wonderful program uh, for companies uh, actually anywhere, but particularly in the Santa Barbara area, mm -hmm. who uh, want their, uh, their employees to have access to, uh, to, to good counseling and other services. Yeah, yeah, it's a great program. Yeah. I have used that with other organizations, mm -hmm. And it is just excellent. Mm -hmm. It's been around a long time. It's been around. It's a little under the, the radar, yep, I think. It and sure one is. of my goals it will be to, uh, to boost its visibility, I think, because it's, it's such a good program and such a good service, uh, again, to our community. But again, our primary focus is on uh, prevention and treatment of uh, alcohol and drug uh, yeah. uh, abuse. You know, I um, have heard so many people say, gosh, I wish the Daniel Bryant Center was here or open back when my kids were coming up yep. because that would have made a big difference in their lives. I've heard that over and over. It just, uh, it's astounding what a difference that makes. Well, I believe that it is the premier treatment facility uh, for uh, child and adolescent substance abuse in the Tri-Counties. We have an absolutely superb treatment staff. And mm -hmm. I guess if there's one mes message that I want to get out uh, to your audience mm -hmm. is that, uh, and particularly to any parent who has a child or a youth, uh, mm -hmm. adolescent or, or youth with a substance abuse, a drug, uh, or an alcohol problem, please give us a call because uh, uh, you're more than welcome, you're encouraged mm -hmm. to have that uh, yeah. intervention as early as possible, but no time is too late. So yeah. please give us a call. So let's say a parent um, 
is it sure that the child has uh, any kind of substance abuse problems, but they notice something uh, that makes them suspicious? Could they come and maybe you could help them recognize signs and symptoms or? Uh, ab absolutely, and we have uh, parents and youth come together uh, kind of for an introductory uh, session or a assessment. Sometimes that's enough to uh, help the, both the parent and the youth mm -hmm. to decide to uh, pursue some, some treatment. Okay. Um, but uh, again, all of our services are absolutely confidential. And certainly that kind of first, uh, is there anything really going on, is yeah. absolutely uh, free. Just oh. give us a call and well, come in and know. we'll arrange for uh, uh, a session. Either uh, if the, the youth feels more comfortable coming in by themselves mm -hmm. or uh, even if the parent wants to come in uh, by, by themselves, we, uh, we would welcome that as well. Okay. So I know that um, you're a nonprofit, 501c3. We are. And so a person could go on your website and maybe make a donation, a financial donation. We would, we would love that and very much appreciate it. And, and I can a assure all our donors that every dollar is well spent and uh, the vast majority goes to our, ser our services. And do you use volunteers at all for anything? We do Maybe for the hikes. Or something? Uh, for the hikes, absolutely, and for for fundraising, mm -hmm. uh, because our our services are, are confidential mm -hmm. and for the most part provided by uh, clinicians, by therapists. Mm -hmm. uh, there there is not much that a, a volunteer could do clinically, right? Sure. But there's so much that they can do otherwise. Yeah. So we welcome volunteers, absolutely. Okay, and then um, I think you collaborate a lot with other organizations, with schools, all over. All, all, of, the, all of the above. And uh, CADA is and has been the coordinating body um, for Fighting Back, oh. which uh, was established right. about uh, uh, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a collaboration of some of the, uh, of the communities. Uh, decision makers and, and leaders, mm -hmm. uh, both in law enforcement, uh, yeah. in uh, public and private uh, sectors that have a, a real concern for the problems of substance abuse mm -hmm. in, the, in the community. And CADA coordinates that, and it's an absolutely wonderful, it's, it's powerful when you sit around the table with Joyce Dudley, who yeah. often chairs our, uh, and usually chairs if she's available, our, uh, our monthly meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and the sheriff and the police chief yeah. and the, uh, the cottage hospital director mm -hmm. and the superintendent of schools yeah. and some of the other school uh, superintendents in the community, all around the table thinking and uh, plotting policy yeah. <laughs> around addressing drug and alcohol issues. Gosh. So it's really a, a, a wonderful collaboration. And that kind of sets the tone for CADA's collaborative mm -hmm. uh, interests. And yeah. yes, we have collaborative we, with other nonprofits, mm -hmm. with the schools, uh, with probation, with uh, law enforcement, uh, both directly and indirectly. So we love wow. it. That says a lot about our community, that, that we would come together for the sake of the kids. Well, and it's, there, there's an old psychological adage, uh, the Gestalt uh, law, that the sum is uh, greater than the, uh, the parts, yeah. uh, or the whole is greater than the uh -huh. sum of the parts. And, you know, we believe that, that working together, and we have uh, a much better uh, outcome than if we're all kind of do, yep. doing our own our own thing. So we Gosh. really look for that collaborative uh, approach first. Well, again, Scott, welcome, welcome. We're so glad that you're here, and uh, we have a little bit less than a minute left. Would you like to say anything to our audience that you haven't said before, or that you want to emphasize? Well, I, I think again the emphasis that it's. Uh, it's always better to, uh, to try to intervene if there's a problem mm -hmm. early. Uh, 
That's why we're so involved with uh, prevention and early education uh, efforts to try to avoid uh, any uh, areas of difficulty with substances. But if they happen, uh, address them. Don't, yeah. uh, don't hide them. Uh, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, a problem that affects all socioeconomic, ethnic groups across the board. Uh, and you just have to uh, do something about it yeah. uh, as quickly as you can. And if uh, I encourage you to call uh, your uh, listeners to call CADA, but mm -hmm. if not CADA, there are other resources in the community and uh, just do it. Great. That's great. Well, thank you so much for all your good work in our community and for being with us today. Thank you again for having me. It's been fun. Yes, it has <laughs> been fun. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.